What's up, guys? It's Tyson Isham again, and uh, we're ready to start getting paid inside of ManyChat. Uh, let me go ahead and jump right into it. You guys can see the post. You know what's up. Uh, and here's how you're going to create your button. Now, um, I need you to open both ManyChat and PayPal. So have both of those open, and we'll start on the PayPal side. So up here, go to Tools, hit the PayPal button, menu item, and that will take you to this page. Now we're going to create a buy now button. If you guys want to mess around with any of the other buttons, feel free to do that. Uh, this is what I know works as of right now. So experiment uh, at your own leisure. Now we're going to create a new item. And we'll just call it item dash two. And we're going to make it $27. Why not? Okay. I don't really think you need to customize the button at all for what we are doing here. So just come on down, uh, use your merch account ID, whatever you need to do. Uh, shipping, add that. Tax, add that. If you're doing e-commerce or anything local, of course, make sure you have your bases covered. Now, I don't need to track inventory, but again, if you're a local business, e-commerce business, you need to add that. Do that as you would with any other PayPal button that you normally create for your business. Now, uh, on customizing your checkout pages, you can, of course, uh, change any options here that you feel like changing. If you need to take customers to a special cancel page or a special fulfillment page when they're done, make sure you enter those URLs here. Also, any advanced variables that you would need to add, uh, for example, those of us that use ClickFunnels, we uh, enter all those here. What these advanced variables do, guys, is it lets your fulfillment program, whatever that is, whether that is shipping or whether that is some sort of digital download, this will trigger that uh, process for fulfillment. Uh, letting it know that a successful payment has been made and uh, this person who is paid is now eligible to receive this item. So any of that you need to do, go ahead and do. Uh, in this case, we're not going to do that for this example. So create the button. And my face is frozen and it's hilarious. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do is you've created this button Come down here and click the email tab. And you're going to click select code to highlight this and hit command C on a Mac, control C on a Windows based machine and copy that, that code. So that's what I've done. Command C, control C, whatever you need to do. And that's it for PayPal. That's all we need to do on this side. Now, jump into your ManyChat dashboard. Go ahead and come to the content area and click create new content. So I'm gonna call this payment for item two for tracking internally. Okay, now we just need to create the message. Do by item two. And then we're going to call the button buy item to now. And once we've done that, we don't want it to reply with a message. We want it to open a website. Now, where it says enter URL, you're going to go command V or control V if you're on a, a Windows machine and paste in that code. You see that? Posted button ID, da, da, da. Back over here, you can see that's the same code. Now we've pasted in that code to our button and that that is going to allow us to have payment right here inside ManyChat. Now, for the way that we have created this button, there's a couple more things we're going to want to do. We're uh, going to add a couple actions. So let's first come down here and create a new tag, say uh, purchased 
item two. Actually, no, we're gonna go ahead and remove that. New tag went to PayPal page for item two. That's the tag because of the way we've created this. Now I want to add a custom field. And this is going to be purchased item two. And I want to make this a Boolean because that's going to give me the yes or no radio buttons. And because I didn't add tracking, I didn't add fulfillment, uh, and I want to keep on top of this, there is going to be a little bit of manual work that has to be done here. A, a VA could easily do this. I can easily do this myself. It's not that hard. I just have to keep on top of it. Um, and the description is going to be, um, did they buy yes or no? And we're going to set the Boolean default to no. So when we do our manual work later, we come back and uh, if they did buy, we click yes. If they didn't buy, we just leave it as it is. And we can do a follow-up sequence with them later on the purchase of this item. That's just good marketing. Okay, so that's it. And uh, one more thing I wanna add for this is a notify admins. And that way, when somebody clicks on this, I automatically get notified that I have somebody who's going to PayPal who may or may not be purchasing right now. Uh, then later I'll be able to verify uh, with my PayPal account, with everything else, whether or not this item was purchased. And that is also going to prompt me to come back and set that Boolean to yes or no based on whether they purchased. And that is all I need to do. So I click done. And that's it, we have it. You can see on the preview on the right that we have the uh, buy item to now option. And the only thing that you will need to do is click preview. And now it has sent a message to my phone. So let me open that. I wonder if I, I know I can't make the camera bigger in this app, so. If I could show you guys, I have a the message there. You can't really see it, but I just click buy item two now, just like it says here on my phone. There will be screenshots in the post as well that you can see. It's loading, load screen, and there it is. Buy with PayPal, and uh, that's all they have to do. So let me just log in, pay. I'll just click pay with debit or credit card just for example purposes. And you can see the checkout and the price is there. Perfect. And that is how you accept payments inside of ManyChat um, until everything else comes through. Of course, <coughs> excuse me. I know that they have submitted their application for payment uh, approval from Facebook. So in the future, hopefully we'll have things like authorize.net, Stripe, and uh, Braintree, whatever processor you guys use, you should have the option to do that in the future. And uh, ManyChat, uh, based on conversations that I've had with them, is going to get more and more advanced in what they're offering and uh, what the platform as a whole is going to be, it is going to be an amazing tool over the next several years. Uh, I know that for sure. Uh, in the meantime, while it is still growing and while this industry is still young, this is one of the workarounds that we can use and uh, make the most of the platform today. So go ahead, go do it guys. Should only take you five minutes and you'll be in business.